I'm Kimberly Leonard from the PIF News Network and we're at the Guild Hall in London for the Global Wealth Conference. I've been speaking to David Haig, he's from Brand Finance and they've just created an index of the brand value and strength of asset managers and sovereign wealth funds. The study that Brand Finance has done is uh, a listing of the most valuable and the strongest asset management and um, sovereign wealth fund brands in the world. There are two elements to calculating the value. First of all, we look at the strength of the brand, because the stronger the brand, the more valuable. We secondly look at what one might expect to charge for the use of that brand if you didn't own it and you had to borrow it from someone, which is a very common method for valuation. And we put those two things together and we arrive at a capital value. And in the case of PIF, the number is $1.1 billion and an extremely strong brand rating, which puts it up there right at the very top of the table. I mean, we, we keep saying it's uh, like a Ferrari or a Rolls Royce in the, in the fund management business, and, and there's no doubt of that. It's, it's known and very finely engineered and is going places. What were the broader perceptions around PIF's brand that you found? We asked a lot of different questions, but two things in particular. One was an extremely interesting investment strategy, and secondly, its ability to attract top talent. It was very high on general awareness, but in particular, very high on familiarity. So people are already aware of the things that PIF has been doing. It's got a very high profile already. Now, the other thing you looked at was uh, a brand strength index. So how did PIF do when it came to that? In the case of PIF, it achieved an A+, and the highest you can get is a AAA. So it's doing very well, considering the, the age of the brand. Um, it's almost at the top of the table. It's a very, very strong brand, and we anticipate it will get stronger with the years ahead. Let's talk about brand value to assets under management, that ratio. Mm -hmm. What's the significance of that ratio, and how have you found that that correlates to how a sovereign wealth fund is managed? The value of the brand is significant because it's demonstrating what value the brand is actually adding to the, the business of the fund. It enables a whole range of different economic benefits and that's why it has a value. So what it demonstrates is that the, the fund is being extremely well managed and generates premiums in terms of incremental assets under management, fees that can be achieved, the ability to recruit staff and keep costs low. That's what brands do. And so it's a reflection on the good management of the, of the fund. The ratio itself for PIF is 0.15 of assets under management, which is double the ratio of the rest of the category. Uh, and it really shows that a, an extremely good job is being done and a great deal of value is being added. How important is a sovereign wealth fund's brand? In general, brands are more important in a consumer environment or a, a broader environment, which is why some of the larger pure asset management firms tend to have slightly higher brand values because they're going to a broader audience. In sovereign wealth fund terms, they have a different stakeholder group, but it's equally important that they influence them with their brand, and PIF is definitely doing that. It's an extremely strong, well-engineered brand with an exciting investment strategy. 